and connected right because you got that Mayflash yeah. adapter now you can't shield but we're gonna stop talking about that we're gonna get into this game one the battle of New York yeah and it is sort of thing where both of these characters I was talking I was talking to Miles about this and we kind of agreed that both of these characters are probably at the very least top five disadvantaged states in the game you got to admit that super armor on your double jump and then Pac-Man just having his general floaty toolkit stalling with fruit Getting a fire hydrant, basically a short hop. That combo seems like holding the bread and butter. Sinji's still showing. He's got it. He's like, listen, you may have got me this time, but I'm out for blood. But yeah. so is he. They're at almost 0.4% difference. And then the grabbing on the egg. Good awareness. Yeah, good re reaction on that tech chase. And now, ooh, that's a, <gasps> that's a lot of damage. And that's still a, oh, I thought the hydrant was going to connect there at the end, but I think it actually became active at the beginning. So, but 139%, that's Sinji going got him from down. behind. That fair, deceptively large hitbox. Yoshi's noggin will knock you. Oh, Bell. Let's see, this is his favorite toy. He's not dead here. He can't get a back air in time. Yeah. I don't even think it would have killed. Yoshi's weight, deceptively big. Oh yeah, no wait, Yoshi actually has the same weight as Captain Falcon and Link, and because he is a floaty character, he is harder to kill off the side than either of those two characters. Mm, that's going to be a real factor, because a lot of Pac-Man's kills are side blast zone related with the ledge, so he doesn't have an up smash to spam to try and get him off his shield. Like, if Yoshi were to fight a wolf, you don't have that tool, but we're going to get a good combo starter, unfortunately yeah. drops out. Yeah, I think it's worth noting that we're seeing a lot of down air right now from Miles, and it's specifically the auto cancel down air. And that's a that is the kind of move you do when you are confident that your opponent is not going to throw out an immediate hitbox of some kind, because if that case, it can be safe and it can catch your opponent jumping without a move. I like that he respected the hydrant enough to throw an egg cross stage to break it. His egg placement has been making his projectile game look better than Pac-Man's. You have to appreciate that. He's got eggs on lock, whether it's two framing with them or it's general neutral. He called out a jump in his face with an egg. And you have to appreciate he's treating Yoshi like a good zoner, finally taking that stock at 210% to a 70% deficit. Let's see if he can make some do comebacks. Pac-Man at ledge will get you a comeback. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 32% already dealt onto Miles. You know, he had a nice lead, but mm. oh, these low percent combos from Sinji, especially with that Galaxian. Oh my goodness, the Galaga coming in there. And it's good for Sinji. He's taking those guaranteed combos because Yoshi could just jump out of your nonsense if you're not careful. It's good to see those one and two hit nickel and dime strats. That's all you can really do against this character. We're seeing tons of dash attack <laughs> right now from Sinji. Like, you can see that there's, as this game is going on, they start favoring a specific move, and they'll do that quite a lot. We're not seeing the down airs that uh, Miles had been doing earlier, and now all of a sudden, Sinji going for a lot of dash attacks, changing it up right now. Oh, that's big, the fact he was able to catch that. Oh, oh almost nigh Almost had the back air kill from up smash to catch him sticking. DI questionable. I don't even necessarily know if that was DI. That forward smash from... Uh, Yoshi is quite powerful. PS2 cross stage. Oh, he got the bell in that exchange. Let's see if he could do something. No Shield way. poke. That is something that you would normally see on Sinji. Again, Miles really showing he has a grasp of not just his character, but the characters he's fighting against. He understands, like, my projectile is better than the first three, so I might as well use it. And he, oh, <laughs> that that is, was beautiful well, spacing. Ooh, the combos here. And taking advantage of his opponent's resource, the fact that he... All right, great job with that apple. That apple is, as soon as the opponent gets the kill percent oh, from the that's apple... a free 30 with that dare. Very demoralizing. You just hit, hit. Can't do anything. Oh, get up attack. Not lasting long enough. Out of shield boots. Oh, man, this is where it gets scary. Does he down... Then the forward smash on normal get up. That is actually Oof. really hard to do. Forward smash is only active for, I believe, a single frame. Wow. So to in the fact when the neutral getup does not have a lot of vulnerability to it. Yeah. So that is an extremely tight window. The fact that Miles is able to do that on reaction, serious kudos to him. He is right now up a game. He might be able to do a repeat of what we saw last week where he managed to knock Sinji into loser's bracket. We could see that, and I do see I agree with the stage chase here. Bigger the better. Pac-Man getting his time, getting time to think. Miles was kind of just on all over him, and even when he wasn't directly all over him, eggs were creating pressure from across stage. It makes you fear Yoshi and not just the close range, but the mid range and the long range. And you don't see that a lot. That's why I gotta give Miles due credit. He's using every part of his character's toolkit 
minus egg roll. But who does that? These dash attack early start. Hey, if I have a move that literally doesn't lag, I'm going to use it at the start too. Why not? Ooh. No. He actually went for the, he fast fell the down air, which got out a few more hitboxes. Maybe he was hoping to shield poke with the landing hitbox of that, but it also meant that he had enough lag that Sinji was able to get a tiny punish. But now we're at the stage where, oh, Sinji's combos are starting to come out. We have neck and neck percent for both of these players. Yeah, these two are not playing, they're playing in almost reverse options or pac man here. Can't breathe, so he has to play like a boxer. And Yoshi, not giving up any pressure, he's using his projectiles, almost playing a mid-screen game with a character you think is normally just in your face all the time. Well, I will say about Miles' play specifically, he is so good at spacing. He's just outside of the opponent's range normally, Ooh. oh, but he was not outside of the range of that bell, and being that close to the ground and up smash to get the kill gives Sinji a massive, massive lead right here. Let's see, 63%. You're not getting killed till about another 20. And even then, he went to Kalos. He wants the survivability. Dash attack, good at covering going under the egg. Oof, lost my words there. Losing the egg. And let's see, he's using it to try and force these aerials and then go back into shield. And he's got that Nair out of shield. He's got a frame three Nair. He can come back. And let's see, he's in a very bad spot. Is he going to be able to confirm? Oh, that's a confirm. <laughs> they are both dying from the top. Just no a size. follow through that Miles just had there, chasing him all the way to the top with the eggs and then still being able to punish the air dodge into an actual conversion. Miles' combo game is looking absolutely stellar at the moment, Arr. but Sinji's Oof. neutral right now is where uh, that's why Sinji still has the lead. It is coming in here. I don't know what that down B was earlier, if that was part of the string or if it was a misinput, but it has led to the change and shift. Let's see. Oh, he's touched. That was almost dangerous. That down air can cause that platform to break on Yoshi, and he might have just gibbed himself, if not careful. Again, that Nair, intangible, frame three. I'm mashing that out of egg, too. I get it. Oh, well, he tried to get a hydrant. Not fast enough. No Nair out of shield, because he can't shield break. Almost in sight. I, I feel for him. All right, doesn't get the frame trap. He's just oh. calling him out fair. He's normal get upping a lot in... He's, Miles is taking advantage of it because Pac-Man's, well, yeah, you can't roll. That's the thing. It's so can't good roll, for Miles. Can't roll, normal get up, can't jump. He's going to get you. Miles is just the fact that he was looking for that option, the kill setup right there. It's now, despite the fact that he was down by a lot, and down by a lot against a player like Sinji, and the fact that he's able to now have such a substantial lead himself speaks volumes. It, it does. It shows that if you take enough time, and it doesn't matter what character, what matchup. You could show work. You could do what it takes. And let's see. Oh, dash attack. Not grabbing the bell, but clanking with it. That's unfortunate. And ding dong back air. We'll see you next snack. Let's see what he does here. Throws it to get the grab so he can start a Galaga combo from out of shield, which, again, frame three. Let's see. Oh, he's got a lot. 35. Hey, you know what? We'll take percents. We don't need 70 percents. We need to win. Ah, okay, so he went for the F tilt there. In that situation, maybe a sweet spot forward air would have been better, purely because it knocks the Hydrant at a very low height and keeps it there stationary, yeah. which is really good for cutting off the opponent's options. The frame trap oh. not filed through. He went for, not a guaranteed flame trap, like if he went for Nair or something, he went for Fair. He's out to take him out, <gasps> and he is at the bottom. That's wow. A, that was an option we had not seen from Miles. He had not been going off stage so aggressively Ooh. like that. And then all of